What is up guys, that is here and I do not have the R8 today. I got a loaner car, an A7 from the dealership, but that R8 is in for an oil change because you bet your ass I'm driving that thing like a motherfucker. Okay, but this video, we are talking about the three things that I did in the beginning when I was first starting job streaming that, that it, like literally were the reasons I was making over 2,000 a day in sales um, and volume for my first store, okay? And these three things I think are extremely important and you should uh, be doing them, all right? So uh, I'm gonna hop back in my car. Don't know where I am. I've just been driving it because like I love driving and this car, this car is nice too. And yeah, I'm gonna hop back in the car and start talking there because there's some weird people that have been driving by and giving me looks. So I'm gonna hop in and let's just get this started, all right? One thing I did want to mention, guys, um, before I get into all this stuff, the um, the Chicago and New York meetups were, were like, they went a freaking amazingly well. There's over 100 50 people that showed up to the New York meetup. Um, there is a meetup in uh, the there is a meetup in wait there is a meetup in Vegas and LA. Um, there's a there's a there's a there's like a meetup on the second um, in LA evening and there's a meetup the third in Vegas right and we have a mastermind going down in Vegas guys it's a, it's a two day mastermind we rented out this fat mansion there's like 17 beds or something like that and we're allowing you guys to like like we're allowing 25 people to actually spend the night with us and like literally just grind mastermind help you guys make money during the day or like the first day or something like that we have I think over a hundred people or a hundred spots available for people just to come through to mastermind we like drop some knowledge and shit like that and there's someone watching me right now so I'm gonna drop the camera we have a hundred spots available for for you guys to come through the first day of the mastermind and then there's 25 people that want to actually spend the night and guys, we're gonna be pulling an all-nighter, okay? We're gonna help you guys make money. We're gonna help everyone make money and drop some value, okay? I hope you guys are ready for that. Link is in the description, very first link. It's above the course. By the way, the course is selling like hotcakes and um, price is going up on that. I think it actually might have already gone up, but um, there is a discount for you guys, as always, because I love you guys. Um, always plug. Both the links are in the description, guys. Um, I hope you guys can make it out to the um, to the Vegas event because that's something I'm really looking forward to. There's another car driving by. Yeah, I hope you guys can make it out to the event. The other ones were like really, really successful. There's, I know, I know, I like a lot of you guys that were at the event knew about my YouTube channel and we're screaming like always plugging stuff when I was talking um, but if you guys were there like leave a comment like leave like your experience I guess of the whole event um, down below so other people can like look at that uh, so it's not just me saying how good it was because I mean like the whole reason it was good was because you guys were there and asking questions all that kind of stuff so leave a comment down below if you were there or if you want to come to the to the um, Vegas one or LA LA is just a free like meetup we're just here like it's like a meet and greet but um the Vegas one we do have tickets for it's literally a mastermind we're gonna grind 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 and show you guys how to make money and, and sales and marketing ecom like I'm the, I'm the drop shipping guy that'll be there that's that guys let's get into the video okay so first things first first of the three things your Shopify trial right what does that mean um essentially Shopify trial is 14 days right you have 14 days to make a profitable website okay that's like your countdown guys because I started I was dirt broke right so you got a bootstrap and again this is why I say it's good to be broke because it forces you to it forces you to, to, to like to, to not cut corners if that makes sense right if you had a thousand dollars to blow you wouldn't be stressing about you know Shopify's twenty nine dollars twenty seven whatever tw like you wouldn't be shopping you wouldn't be stressing about Shopify's monthly payment plan right after 14 days but if you're broke that 14 days is very 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 crucial okay that means you have 14 days to make a profitable website now what does that mean it means that some of you guys messed up and started your Shopify trial before you did any initial research on the marketing or on the products you wanted to you know um, import and sell right so what I tell people is if you've already started your site well, this is what I tell people you stop it you start a new trial but not yet not yet okay um, but you first want to do marketing and like research on the market right you want to have an idea of the products you want to sell you want to have um, like you want to you want to like find Find competitors find influencers all that stuff before you start your trial right because your Shopify trial that that has nothing to do with the whole marketing aspect of it okay at least not not yet all right so before you start your trial and before that deadline starts before Shopify takes money out of your bank account you want to do research right there's no point starting your trial and then having to do research while that trial is on because when that trial is on you should be focusing on your website and making that perfect so that when you send traffic to to your site they're not bouncing they're not you know converting weekly because your site you didn't spend as much time as, as you could have right and those 14 days like yeah you can pay for Shopify afterwards um, even if you're not ready to go live but there's no point in that guys especially if you're uh, if you're broke you want to be making money the day you go live right 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 so that's that's rule number one okay you might have started your Shopify trial like before you've done any research right and that's what a lot of people I've found have done that and they're running out of time and they start paying and they're not ready yet they don't, they're not making any money yet, and they're already paying Shopify right there's no need for that okay so if you are at that point or if you're like somewhere in your trial or something like that and, and you don't feel ready or you aren't ready yet and you know you're not ready yet then why can it is restarting the trial okay uh link in the description for the trial by the way and you do market research first okay figure out your influencers figure out your competitors figure out what products you want to sell again if you think of a product you're going to sell you need to make sure the market it's telling you is going to sell okay what does that mean it means you can find competitors selling the same or similar products okay if you can't find competitors i would stay away from that niche because dropshipping is the easiest industry to get into so 
if they're not there, there might not be money there, okay? So that is um, rule number one, or, or reason number one, okay? Reason number two, or I, I said three, two, okay? Reason number two, you need to know what your funnel is going to look like, okay? Before you launch, okay? There's no there's no point in sending traffic if you have no idea what the traffic is gonna do, how it's going to proceed to purchase, all that kind of stuff. And so, if you don't know what your funnel is gonna look like, you're not gonna generate as much volume or sales or anything as, as, as you'd hope, right? As you'd want. And so, what my funnel typically looks like, right? Again, you, like, people do it many different ways, but what I found works for all my sites and what I teach you in the course, always plug in the description, um, is Instagram, okay? I start off with Instagram. You can start off with paid ads, all that kind of stuff. I don't usually advocate for that and this is why. So, I use Instagram influencer shoutouts. I use that for the first month and I continue them, but I only use shoutouts for the first 30 days, usually, okay? Unless you're getting a lot of traffic and volume, then you can always like go shorter and stuff like that. Hold on, there's another car coming. I hate talking to cameras when there's other people around. I don't know why, I just need to get over that fear. Or not, it's not even a fear, but like, like it's just like a weird feeling like talking to like a screen. Okay, uh, mm, what was I gonna say? Oh man, I just lost my fucking chain of thought. Um, uh, oh yeah, okay, your funnel, your funnel, your funnel. All right, this is, this is what, this is what. Influencer shoutouts, okay? Those shoutouts that you find via your competitors or those marketing outlets, those influencers you find on Instagram, uh, you're gonna buy shoutouts from from them okay and experiment with those right again it's all about patience and experimentation you got to experiment with dropshipping that's all it is it's about experimentation okay you're gonna buy these shout outs you're gonna have your Facebook pixel on your website collecting data this whole time for the entire month before you actually scale with paid ads you buy shout outs with your Facebook pixel already collecting data right eventually after that month time or however long you're doing it like that data is going to build up you'll be able to create look like audiences and scale from that okay that's what I say I use paid ads to scale my sites I use info shout outs to collect all the data that I want and build up my Instagram pages and stuff like that for that social proof okay so I use shout outs from those shout outs um, you want a good quality picture again I don't slap a bunch of text on my shout outs okay guys I see a lot of you guys do that especially when I do like mentoring or consulting or something like that a lot of you guys will show me your shout outs and it's just a bunch of text and that's not good guys Instagram is such a visual platform that you don't want to be slapping text on like you see gorgeous photography on Instagram you see like all these nice pictures on Instagram you want to keep that flow there you don't want to interrupt someone's feed by having some nasty ass text on a, a pixelated image right so you want a really good quality image picture of your product all right that image is supposed to sell users like sell them on looking at the caption that's supposed to be like it's supposed to get their attention be like oh shit what is it like what the fuck is that right that is gonna sell them on the caption down below from the caption you want that to you know include your Instagram handle um stuff like that to drive them to your Instagram business page right because you can't have links in your caption so you can't drive them straight to your website you got to drive them to your Instagram page and from there you can have your website in the little description that they can click on and proceed to your website from there or if you buy you know website space on an influencer you can have them direct to the influencers page and have your website be in their bio. Oh, there's more bikers coming, dog. What's up? How you doing? Yep, dandy. Okay. Oh man, I gotta be somewhere at six and it's 5.30. Guys, I haven't even showered today, guys. I woke up super late because I stayed up to like five in the morning. Now there's someone, why is everyone looking at me, man? Why is this road so crowded? I literally drove here because it was the middle of nowhere. All right, yeah, so your funnel, guys. So the funnel for Instagram is like this. Shout out, all right, from an influencer. From there, it goes, you need to drive traffic um, to that caption for the influencers, right? Because they're going through the feed. You need that picture to get their attention so they look at the caption. From the caption, you gotta plug your Instagram handle or username, you know, the at, at username, like the handle, okay? You gotta plug that so that they click through to that to your business Instagram page. From there, uh, again, you want your business page to look good, like look like it's actually like good, right? So you wanna have at least minimum nine posts um, so it fills up the phone feed, like when people are scrolling on their phone, like they see at least nine. And then you don't wanna have like no followers, guys, because again, social proof. If someone goes to your website and they see you have nothing, they're gonna assume that no one knows about your shit and that you're not popular and not good at it, right? So again, um, the funnel goes from the caption to your Instagram business page, from your Instagram business page, they click the link to your website and from the website, they get to your site, all right? And again, I usually keep my sites also very, very visual because I'm driving traffic from Instagram and Instagram's already a very visual platform. So I keep that, you know, as, as visual as I can just to decrease bounce rate and keep people on the site.